Custom guitar builders can seem like a dime a dozen. There are literally hundreds of small boutique builders out there that are gonna be able to offer a more personalized experience on the guitar building journey. And especially within the praise and worship community, it can be hard to weed out all the noise. So with that said, what makes Jenny's guitar different from the bunch? massive goal this year to get to 10,000 subscribers. So if you want to be part of that journey and you enjoy gear reviews, tips and tricks on tone or guitar lessons, be sure like and subscribe. One other quick disclaimer, Chad from Jennings Guitars did send me this guitar to put together a review. However, I'm going to be very straightforward and transparent about what I do and don't like about this guitar, and he does not get to review this video before you guys do, and I'm not being paid to say one thing or another. So with all that said, let's hear how this sounds. appreciate just how beautiful this guitar really is. Starting off with the Swamp Ash body and the gorgeous exposed grain in satin black, this is going to be something that immediately helps this guitar stand out from the crowd. And I think Jennings does a lot of these really awesome finishes on all of their guitars. One last cherry on top is going to be the unique name engraved on the pickguard. I think that's a really cool personalized touch. This guitar is going to be fully equipped with top-notch electronics. It's going to have a Bigsby B5 with a roller bridge and then Lambertone's cremas in it. Uh, in my opinion, I think this makes for an absolutely killer praise and worship guitar. And then that sweeping kind of offset body is going to be really comfortable and honestly just look really cool on stage, which who doesn't love that? typically going to be something that makes or breaks it for me. And in this case, I'm really happy to say that Jennings makes a fantastic neck. I absolutely love the flame roasted courtesan maple neck and then that rosewood fretboard. One other thing that I think is super cool about this guitar is the beveled headstock. I think it really prominently displays the company logo without being overbearing or obnoxious. In combination with the rosewood fretboard, the C-shaped neck, the bone nut, and the really, really freaking cool mother of pearl inlays, the Cluson tuners, this neck just begs to be played. First and foremost, my list of dislikes with this guitar are really small, and my overall thoughts and opinions about this Voyager are overwhelmingly positive. To start, I've had the opportunity to get to know Chad from Jennings a little bit more, and he seems like a super awesome and genuine dude. As somebody who is a Christian, it's really awesome knowing that he is also a Christian and is creating guitars within that praise and worship space. and. Yeah, it's just really cool to see and meet somebody that is using their talent for the glory of God. I also do have some thoughts about his pricing, which I'll talk a little bit later in this video, but I do want to remind you, if you're liking this video and this content, be sure to like and subscribe. There's also a discount link in the description where if you're looking at his guitars, use the code down below and you will receive a free mono case. 
So that's pretty sweet. In terms of my thoughts on this specific guitar, I think it's an absolutely killer instrument. This guitar plays leagues above other instruments in my personal opinion, and it's one of those things that it's got a lot of magic and sparkle that makes me want to keep coming back to it. It makes it really fun and enjoyable to play. Now with that said, I feel like I've offered a lot of positives about this guitar, so let me start talking about what I dislike about this guitar. First and foremost, although the frets on this guitar are great and probably fine for most people, I really prefer heavily rolled fret edges. That way when I'm moving my hand up and down the guitar, I don't have to feel any of the frets. One other thing that I noticed is when I received this guitar, the intonation was pretty sharp on the 12th fret, um, but that could possibly be that Chad is shipping from California. I'm in Nebraska and it's really cold right now and really dry. So the climate absolutely could have affected some of that. Lastly, I think the engraved pick guard is a super cool touch, but I did receive mine and I had to get tweezers to pull out some of the plastic, I assume just because of the laser printer. And then the last thing I think would be just a cool enhancement would be creating custom neck plates for models. And then that way it more aesthetically brings together the back and the front of all of the guitars. Like I said, probably nitpicky comments, but especially at this price point, I would hope and pray that my concerns with the guitar is pretty limited, but I think it's important to be upfront and honest with you all about it as well. super impressed with Jennings guitars is just their ability to create an instrument that aesthetically just flows together. And um, this may seem like kind of a weird point, but I feel like some custom builders struggle to create an instrument that just makes sense and kind of flows all the way top to bottom and makes sense, right? From the headstock to the neck down into the body. I feel like Jennings does a really fantastic job at this. That and Honestly, their Instagram feed is probably one of the most beautiful guitar feeds that I've seen out there. Um, I just love the work that he does. I think it's super creative. And that in and of itself really shows the level of craftsmanship that this company takes. And I mean, it's just awesome. So, yeah. <laughs> now, I did mention earlier that I want to talk a little bit more about the price of these guitars. Now, since they're a custom builder, that obviously depends largely on what you add into your guitar, but typically you're around that $2,800 to $3,500 price point. Now Jennings is also working to put together a kind of pre-spec build that is going to have standard options be more readily available and have a shorter time to delivery, and that's gonna typically run you around $2,600. Now this next thing I'm about to say is probably the most important thing I've said in this entire video, so listen up. I honestly think that Jennings makes a guitar that far exceeds its price point. And what I mean by that is I've had the opportunity to play a lot of $3,000 plus dollar guitars, and I genuinely think and believe that Jennings makes a product that surpasses that $3,000 value. And that's not me trying to kiss up to anybody or deliver anything other than my honest opinion. I think in the craftsmanship, the playability, the tone, the overall aesthetic and presentation, Jennings makes a guitar that is unparalleled at that $3,000 price point. So with all of that said, I really hope I get to play more of his guitars in the future. And if you like this video and you want more sound samples, check out this video right here.